All right, Dusty, we're here with John Campbell and in his version of an open house challenge. I wonder what we're gonna see here tonight. John Campbell, and as you guys remember, he uh, previously, in two episodes ago, he uh, fought John King, the All-American, and won, making John King sing the Canadian National Anthem. Oh, here he goes running his mouth again. And we do know he loves to talk. Let's listen, Dusty. Seems to be getting the same negative reaction. Yeah, nobody really likes this guy, Dusty. He's, uh, Maybe it's just because he flaunts his Canadian ship. He's not winning them over. I'll say that. I don't think he's trying to, granted, but... Definitely an overinflated ego. With his fake mink shirt jacket, which I think could be real. It but could be chinchilla. Chinchilla. That means it's full of dust. Does it? I don't know if the shirt would be, but chinchillas sure as hell are. They take dust baths. I did not know that. Yeah, Dusty. fuck having one of them things. You got a dust bath for it. Stupid little things. You know how many chinchillas it would take to make a jacket? Five. Five? Yep. <laughs> Campbell demanding silence. Maybe we should shut up. Never. See, he's proud of being Canadian, but rips on youpers. That doesn't make much sense. I am not done for the night. You see, the match I had before was just a little bit of a light workout for the gentleman. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna issue not just an open challenge, but the open challenge. Okay. He's taking advantage of our open door policy. No more guys from companies we don't like, okay? That's well, all I'm saying. Let's hope the secretary lady that you shouldn't hire gets her piece Oh, she's fired. Together. She's fired. Don't worry about it. We took care of that. Got a cuter one? No, she's ugly, actually. I still fucked her, though. I'm make myself clear, because clearly you people don't understand. wants to put it on the line, but it's not sanctioned. I mean, I'm not going to... It is not a PWR belt, folks. I'm not going to call this a title match, but if he wants to put it on the line, he's more than welcome. I mean, if he wants to put his house on the line, he can do it. What I do give him credit for is it seems like he likes... He's a better. He's a gambler. Last time it was sing my anthem, I'll sing yours. This time it's my belt. At least he does he, like to raise the stakes, doesn't at he? At least he's willing stand. to put something on the line. I'll give him oh, a little yeah? bit of credit for I'll that. I'll give you that. He'd probably be bad at a horse race, though. He'd probably lose everything he has. But I'll give him credit. Referee on his way out. And I'd have to say, she trying to get the referee to kick out the this drunks This will be the, the first crowd. event of PWR. I will say the refs have been done, doing a pretty good job. Well, we hired this new ref here, and then the other referee, TJ, he's our senior official. And so he's, he's always jumping off the top rope. Yeah, so he's good. always been doing good. And he got a raise after our last event. That was just insane. We got some music, and that's 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 Gary, Gary the Freak. Freak. You remember Gary the Freak from last season, Dusty? Gary As a matter of fact, Freak. he was in the Triple Threat match with John Campbell, but he was not the guy that Campbell beat in the Triple Threat no, match. No, the thing with Gary the Freak is he's uh 
definitely a very unique person, character-wise and wrestling-wise. Well, he's freaky too. No he's doubt got his own. Uh, he got his own appeal going for him. His own little wrestling style, kind of. You know, he's, he's covered in hair, head to toe, with the hairy chest, hairy back. back. I mean, ugh. he reminds me a little bit of a young George George the Animal Steel, if you know who that is. It doesn't look like John Campbell likes to wrap the fact he's got to wrestle the freak. Anybody but Gary the Freak? I guess. Said, I yeah. didn't hear that, Sheik. Did you I must have slipped by me there. I didn't hear that. Did you guys hear that in the crowd? I don't think anybody well, heard here's that. Well, here's the deal. Gary the Freak's got a legitimate uh, reason to want to face Campbell right here because last season in the triple threat match, Campbell got the win. But he didn't beat Gary the Freak. He beat Snake Eyes in that match. So Gary the Freak has a loss on his record that he never laid down for. So he's that's got to hurt having an L and never getting pinned. Well, that's that's the, well, that's the uh, the that's, what that's the trickery of a triple threat. Match. The trickery behind the triple threat. Yeah, the trickery triple threat. That was three T's. That's that's for the triple threat. Don't confuse me, Dusty. The trickery threat. So Gary the Freak, he wants to sell this once and for all. I will say, Gary the Freak, his size doesn't do him justice. He wrestles like a twice as big man. And, you know, he's going to be a little bit more of a competition for Campbell than John King was two weeks ago. Let's just be honest He's here, younger. Dusty. He's got more pep in his step. He's got less flab in his arms. He's more unorthodox, too, Dusty. I mean, and like I've he's said got before, a very weird offensive style. John King style. can get it done. Don't let us try. We're not trying to knock John King, but it is what it is. He fought in the war, Dusty. He, and he, it is, exactly. He deserves his respect, but it is what it is. John Campbell pandering to the referee, trying to complain about the crowd, complain about Gary. He complains a lot, this John Campbell guy. You know, you may, I think it's head games. He seems like one of them guys that just just feeds off getting in the side of your head. He's definitely got the uh, got the skills that we've been noticing here in PWR. He's definitely a good undefeated. Wrestler. I'm actually a fan of the John Campbell inside the ring. I'm not a fan of the John Campbell personality. And that's a fair assessment, but... Look at that, a high five. That's just because I hate people with maple leaves on their crotch. There's no high-fiving in wrestling, John Campbell says. Oh. Yes, there sure is. Every time you got a tag, a tag team, man. Yeah. <laughs> got you there, Campbell. Got ya! Zinger! Yes, now, Are we going to get to some wrestling? Here we go. They lock up. Gary the Freak. Getting freaky here with John Campbell up in the corner. Now, Campbell... Oh, there's a high-five. High five. Oh, there's a <laughs> high-five for you, Campbell. Right to the jaw face. Gary the Freak's got that arm ringer on now. Hammers it down. Hammers the elbow right to his elbow. Gonna try to pop that elbow out. I'll tell you right now, I got a, I got a finger that popped out of place and partially broken. Now, that elbow Did the would aliens do that to you when you were abducted? It is the one, it is the only injury I have from it, yes. And you left the show for three weeks? It was, the, it was that two hours of being blacked out. I don't recall what happened. Gary the Freak in firm control of this match right now. Got that arm ringer. And that arm ringer, you know it's a subtle move, Dusty, but it really, really does do a lot of damage. Well, and that's it makes your arm a lot weaker. You can't use it as well for future well, it's, moves. It's like got scoop multiple slams. And this is why you see it so much in wrestling is one, it weakens that arm. I mean, if you get punched by that arm, it won't hurt as much. But it also is momentum. It's a lot control. of people, And that's exactly right. A lot of people don't understand that. They're like, how, how is he going to beat him with an arm ringer? Well, you're not going to get the guy to tap out to an arm ringer. But he can definitely weaken up that arm. He's not going to be able to, even his punches are not going to have the full effect that they would. Well, and, and like I said, it's, it's that, but it's also to start controlling the match, to control the momentum of the match, to control the speed of the match. Speaking when you have him that, Gary the Freak laying Campbell with a down. huge Chuck Norris roundhouse kick there to the face. That's right. Campbell eating floor right now. Fortunately, the floor is not as dirty as previous venues we've worked in. Big Right there with the Chuck Norris roundhouse. Only difference is he left his feet. He did leave his feet, that's right. The aerial tactics of Gary the Freak. He's just a freak. He is a freak, Dusty. Look at him in the ring just pacing. The he ladies look, say he looks like, it's freaky too. He looks like the thing. 
You think so? Kinda. Look at this, Campbell going for a timeout. I don't know if that's uh Well he said there's no high fives in wrestling, but there's definitely no timeouts in wrestling. Oh he's taking the timeout. You know, technically going to the outside of the ring. Look at this, Gary's gonna flip him back into the ring. Campbell doesn't look happy. Campbell got a huge, he's a big tall guy, ain't he? He's gotta be at least 6'10. 6'10 and a half. Gary the freak. Look at this now. Mounting him. Two, three, four. Is he gonna do all ten? Nine and nope. nope. He's a nice guy that Gary the Freak Stop is. Stop short and look at this now. Can't even walk straight. A finger poke and he's down. That's how out of it he was after those nine punches, Bust. Oh, can you blame him? I'm surprised he could even <laughs> stand up, let alone wobble around like a penguin. Big two count there by Gary the Freak trying to get this job done here. And Gary the Freak is definitely playing the crowd. They seem to love this guy. Look at that now. Trickery by John Campbell. No, oh, as I was just saying, you pander to the crowd, that's what might happen. Campbell got him. Uh, you lose your guard. Yeah, Campbell's got him down on the mat now. He's gonna choke him out, Dusty. Choking him out with his Canadian ass hands. <clears> he <throat> can't breathe, look at him. You think John Campbell knows the Trailer Park Boys, Dusty? He's Canadian. Of course he does. I don't know Canadians know every Canadian celebrity there is. That's what I thought. About yeah. 12. Yeah. Well, 12 is probably giving them more than they deserve, too. It's yeah. probably about seven. Yes. Doesn't he also know Stan's brother? I think so. Chat to him. You know, Gary the Freak. I, I'm pretty sure they adopted him from Campbell's family. That's very possible. They do look similar. I'll say that. Kick the baby. Shot to the chest. Another, Another chop. big shot. You know, Gary the Freak looks like a baby that might have been kicked a few times. He does. You know what I would say? I was just going to explain Gary. it. Gary's been wrestling a hell of a match, but he looks like he's getting winded here. Possibly. Campbell Those might chops. just be giving him a workout Those here. were hard chops, but in the beginning of the match, his chops were a lot stronger than that. It makes you wonder about his uh, his stamina. She, well, just because the ladies say he's freaky doesn't mean they call him the 60-minute uh, man. There you go. God, that's bad. Look at this now. Going for a... That's a pretty weak cover that's by a pretty John pretty arrogant Campbell. cover. Yeah. Arrogant might be the better word for it. But that, I don't, you know, those type of covers are mind games. I've always said that. The one foot covers and all those, I don't think they really try to pin them. It's to get their head whipped into the corner. Gary's in big, big trouble right now. And you're right, he does look pretty tired. No, he's not necessarily the smallest guy. Well, height wise. Yeah, he is pretty small, actually, does he? Campbell snapping snap. that neck. That don't feel good. That's right, doing oh, push-ups now. <laughs> see, see, I think that was a testament to who's in better shape. He must have heard That's it. what I was just thinking. <laughs> he must hear us talking back here. Talking about the cardio, yeah. Never misses the opportunity to inflate his own importance, Dusty. <coughs> well, at some points, that's necessary. It's good for the it's ego. It's part of pro wrestling, definitely. No one's going to get ahead by being shy and bashful. Well, but. sometimes people might go overboard with their arrogance, but you can't go into a fight without having confidence. So that arrogance is a testament to their confidence. Here we go. We're going for a suplex here. Nice takeover by Campbell. He's going to roll through. He's going to try some three amigos. It's more of a Mexican thing. Not a, now he's got that arm ringer. Now he's going to go for a, uh, a Russian leg sweep, perhaps, here. Nice. Takes him down a Canadian leg sweep. And Campbell's basically just taking control of this whole <laughs> Gary the Freak looks like he got tired there. He looks like he got winded and, and Campbell took advantage of it. Well, to, you know, Campbell's been beating on his chest all night and wringing his neck on the ropes and everything else, too. That doesn't help. Not at all. Going it, for a fist drop off. You know what I've always out. found interesting is the fact he's got side boots, a goatee, and everything nope. else on a he, bald head. He caught the boot. Look at that now. He punched the mat. What did he do that for? Those he broke his hand. Gary, Gary the Freak with the roll up. Two count he only. Gets the two. I'll tell you what, this has been a nice back and forth match as you see Campbell with the clothesline takedown. Well, Look at this a... maneuver now. He's pulling the head forward while driving the knee into the chin and the jaw. And I don't know if you noticed the little sneaky, th uh, as he let go of that, he kneed him in the nose. 
Ah, yeah. tactics. You know, I don't think most people seen that, but there was a neat those race. Are, those are those dirty tricks that you can sneak into a match. Gary the Freak with another roll up. Look at that now. This could be it. He ain't gonna nope. get that, nope. Didn't have it all the way there, Dusty. Dare. Nice double clothesline. I think they're both down there now, sheep there. Hey now. You're a Uper two there, but I gotta point it out. We are from the UP. Okay then, you betcha. We're not quite <laughs> Canada though, Dusty. You betcha, Gary Campbell. John Campbell. Camp Bell. Camp Bell. You see Gary Freak with a little face poke. Yeah, Gary, what do you expect when Campbell's all wobbly like that? Gary Freak had a little fun. Well, Campbell was able to turn it around here as you see the... Uh, it's just the thing, Sheep, is Gary Freak was having fun with it and having fun with the crowd while he was ahead. It gave Campbell the, t the ability to turn it around now. That's right. There's no time for having fun in pro wrestling. No. There's no crying in, in, in softball. That's right. <laughs> Referee now, he's got the 10 count going. If Neither one of these guys can reach their feet before a 10 count. It's going to be a double DQ. And I don't here. want to see that, but if I do, you know, that's a testament to two guys that just wrestled their hearts out if it does happen. Seven count now. It's getting close, folks. Next week, we got that big tag team match. As you see a cover Gary here. Gary the Freak turns. Oh, he almost count. gets Holy. it. And Gary the Freak has gotten quite a few two, two and a half counts here in the last couple minutes. Yeah, oh, that definitely. Gary the Freak is impressing the hell out of me here tonight. Freakishly. Big blow. Another big blow. They're exchanging some very hard shots to the face. Gary takes the upper hand of that one. Goes to whip him into the ropes, reversed. Misses the clothesline, kick to the gut. Picks him up. Backpack stunner, oh. Dusty. That's like the Stone Cold Stunner with a little and bit that of could stank be it. on it. One, two, three. He's got his but foot on the rope and his hand on the rope, but the three count came in. That does not count. Three counted the three, but Campbell's got his foot on the ropes. Gary the Freak thinks he won, but there's no bell. What's going on, folks? Did he get it or not? Gary the referee the has is. never signaled. Gary's got the bell. The ref has not signaled he the win. He thinks he won it, Dusty. The ref has not signaled the win. There's Look been no now. bell. The referee's trying to take it away. Campbell now. Scotty, is that Scotty Why D? Is Scotty D in there? Look at this now. And John, John King. Campbell to the rescue, or John King, I should say. He's John King's help got out. the Canadian bell. Gary the Freak. And no, he oh, he did Gary the Freak. Him. You got to be kidding me. John King? Why, Dusty? The American hero just <laughs> helped the Canadian and Scott he D. Was, he was just forced to sing the Canadian national anthem. He's the all-American hero. What's now going the Canadian's going to get the pin. This is an injustice here, Dusty. We got Scotty You've D got and John King me. in here with John Campbell. It looks like John Campbell's made some friends, Chief. Of all the dastardly low-down things that you can do, he went out and recruited a couple of henchmen, Dusty. And you know, John King, this is sad to see John King, the all-American hero. He's folded. I can't believe He's that, given into the Canadians. He fought in the war, Dusty. And, and Canadians don't fight wars. He can't be on that side. Maybe that's why he joined the Canadian team. Maybe he's just done fighting the war. No Dusty. more. He's sick of it. He's, uh, I, but he let out not. Gary the Freak with that Canadian bell, and that surprises me after the attack he had last week or two weeks ago. We're going to have to have some questions. Questions for John King. I don't know what's this is pandemonium, folks, because Scotty D has no we have no idea how these guys got. Well, remember, I Campbell. said last week now that Scotty D was born in Toronto but lives in Detroit. I oh. wonder, but that doesn't explain anything for John so King. So the conspiracy gets deeper. But John King's the American hero. This doesn't make sense. I can folks. see the Canadian connection between the other two, but this is. This is just too much here, Dusty. I don't understand it whatsoever. You got Gary the Freak, who thought he had the pin right there. As you can see, he thought he won, but the, he, he had the ropes. That is not a pin. Right there, the foot's on the rope. That was not a pin. Gary the Freak thinks he won, and then John King comes in, the all-American hero. And he takes out an American and helps the Canadian. Laid him out. There you see Gary picking up that belt right there. He thinks he won the belt. He thinks he's the new Canadian champion. Which is weird in its, it's own right. Scotty D comes. It, it just distracts Gary the Freak for John King to just lay him out with Look the belt. Look at this now. Yep, here you see the, the confrontation. John King's going to whack him in the face. We thought he was going to maybe hit Scotty. We thought he was there to help out Gary. But no, he's there to help out John Campbell. 
<laughs> don't get it. And, oh. and then to top it off, he sits there with the ref as the American hero and holds up the Canadian belt with John Kim. There you see, there's that pin right there. We got the three count, and then the henchmen are coming back into the ring to celebrate with the champ. There is obviously been some friendships made backstage that we I think there's been seen. some Canadian dollars thrown around here. You think here. he got paid off? I think he got paid Canadian, Dusty. And there we see it again. The, the American holds up John Campbell. Okay, they're, clearly, they're clearly united here right now, Dusty. I think we're seeing the formation of a Canadian